Hey everyone and welcome back to Probably Planet. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some really awesome and fun spring DIYs. This is a collab with Quiva Jean who will be doing three other spring DIYs so make sure to check out her videos. First you're going to use your tape and at the bottom of each pot you're going to be creating a triangle base. And this is kind of easy except for the top part where you will be having to use tape to try to create the pointiest edge as possible. This does not have to be perfect and it did take some time but here's what it turned out to look like. Once your tape is securely on your pot, you want to create a coat of whatever color paint you want throughout the entire rest of the pot. Make sure you don't go too crazy so the color doesn't bleed through. Once your pot has dried for two to three hours, now it is time to rip the tape off and do some adjustments. I use my X-Acto knife to make it more perfect because it did bleed through a little bit, but honestly, I think that's what gave it characteristics. You can also add your paint with the X-Acto knife, but other than that, I will leave it how it is. First, you want to decide what color pom-poms you'll be needing, so take it out and find the ones that you will want, and I did this color combination. First, you're going to pick the colors that you want to use, and I used hot pink, purple, and blue. And this creates a really cute look. The next step is to hot glue the pom-poms onto your yarn. And I found it easier to glue the actual glue onto the pom-poms and then stick it onto the yarn. I did it in colors, so I kind of went in a an assembly line and I basically put them out about two to three inches apart and I did as much as I needed to. Once you have reached your desired length, you are finished. I think this is such a cute thing to have and it really brings out the color in every room and decoration. First, I painted the outline and the structure of a tree. Pinterest post down below because I basically traced with my brown paint the actual tree. This is how I got my paint at the bottom of my bottle. We have completed the basis of the tree and now it is time for the petals. This is how I got my paint onto the bottle. Make sure to do some trial ones on a piece of paper just because it is a little bit tricky before actually doing it on the canvas. For every branch, you are going to place a petal onto it. You want to make sure to not press down too hard and also don't apply too much paint because it will get that smudgy look that is not the five different sections. Perfection of each one of these petals is what makes it so unique and so beautiful. I don't know why, but although all of the petals are so unique and not perfect, they still look really good. But if you do want to do some touch-ups, which is what I am doing, then you can go ahead and... So that was it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Quiva Jean's video and her other three DIYs and subscribe to her too. Thanks guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you all next time. Bye everyone!